That's a good fish. It yeah. smells so good. It looks so good. Such a beautiful presentation to this dish. You gotta pull up your pants. Where is the flag? Oh, I see it. Brennan? Yep. Hell yeah. Your fish. Come on. Now you got it. I'll film. Right. Thank you. See that? Nice. Got him? Yep. What do you think? Landlocked salmon or brook trout? Well, a couple head shakes. Could be a salmon. Oh, decent little brookie. Long one. Yeah, I'll take it. Stalker. Oh, look at those colors. Yeah, I'm stalked. You see them colors. You gonna keep them? Yeah, oh yeah. Beauty, that's a nice one. I'll take it. Very vibrant. Blue dots. Oh, that's picture perfect. Beauty. Oh yeah. He was, uh, or she, she was hungry. All right, first fish of the day. Uh, my goal is to jig for lake trout, but I haven't even got a chance to put a jig down in the water yet, except for like one quick one. And we decided to set up on the ridge for some brook trout as well, just because why not? It's a, it's a good feeding area, so it drops off into a horseshoe where we're jigging for lake trout. But then up here, we have reed beds. Uh, was this a reed bed or a rock bottom? It is a muddy bottom with the rocks. Okay, so this is like the transition. Over here we have a pretty mossy, uh, weedy bottom. And then back this way is all boulders. Uh, so a lot of bait fish here. The reason the lake trout are here is largely because of that horseshoe that they can chase the brook or the bait bait fish up into. And the brook trout are just cruising the edges of the drop off looking for them. Uh, so we'll see what we catch. I already got some brook trout. How's that going? I'm not gonna talk. About I'm not gonna film that. That's a good idea. <laughs> yeah, but you need your forceps at home. We're going for food today. Uh, maybe I'll catch if I catch a big lake trout. That's going back. I, that's just too much. Uh, my freezer is empty, so I'm going to try to fill it. I can catch two brook trout, two landlocked salmon, and two uh, togue or lake trout. Don't know if I'm actually going to keep two togue because those are big fish, and I don't need that big a fish. So I'm thinking like maybe one togue of two to three pounds I feel comfortable with taking. My jig is frozen in the ice. Yeah, it's fantastic. This is what you want, a big ice chunk on it. Works every time. You watch, I'm gonna sit and there's gonna be a flag. This ice chunk is ridiculous. The flag? Yes! Where? I'm used to it, I right when I sit down, man. I'm never gonna get to catch a lake trout today. I guess that's not a bad problem to have. I'll meet you there. You gonna bring bait? Uh, not moving, but sideways again. Oh. There. Oh, he's got me on a boulder. Oh, it feels like a good fish, too. Get yourself out of there. You can do it. He's still on there, for yeah. sure. Um, yeah, I still feel him. Yeah. Hmm. 
I'll give him a little slap. See if he runs. I think he's pinned. I think what happened is this just wrapped once around a rock or a log. Yeah, he's not moving. Oh. Little guy. <laughs> I can't believe he came out. He was huge, huh? Uh, it, it's hard to tell with the rock. <laughs> you probably pulled him underneath something. I was fighting a boulder and a tiny oh, trout. All right, he's not keeping size. He is mighty tangled, though. Not the big guy I was describing, but we'll get him back. At least he got off. Oh, nose dive. Nose. Every time you sit down, you get a flag. It's, it's not a bad problem to have, but it's funny not fishing. Spinning. Got him? I uh, thought I did. Gone. Yeah. Oh well. I set up some, somewhere. Oh, you got one on it right now? <laughs> no way. Oh! No, that was a good one. There's two of them. I think he felt the hook, though. Eat it. Oh, oh, there's two, three. There's a bunch. Oh, this is cool footage. This is so cool. Oh, yeah. Come on, he's mounted now. It's warm when you're running oh. around. Oh, get one. Big one just swinging that in there. Oh. Swing and a miss. Oh, that's a good one. Nice. He's decent. Smaller than I thought, though. They always look big in the hole. Well, that's uh, your limit. Nice fish, dude. Choked that one pretty good. Man, these fish are hungry today. That's unbelievable. Show it to the camera. Look at the fish, dude. Oh, I'm booked up again. Oh, <laughs> Bringing the rod with you. Nice job, dude. That's pretty good. Uh, if you hunt, hook that from your pants, I think I'd rather use this than my... Yeah, I'll let him know. Good spot. Like, two flags. Hey, flag back there, see? The far one? Yeah. Oh, I'm not gonna get there. Oh, great, it will. What we'll do is... Spin it? No. I don't think he's there. No. Kill oh, he's looking at it. Look at him. Yeah, look at him. Oh my god, he's right in the oh, hole. I, I could have grabbed him. I just want to get your line in before it freezes. That was really cool. Oh. You see him? Something just whacked it. Probably still there. So the fish comes in, I pull him in, and he comes right onto the hole, like inches under the water. That was really cool. I've never seen that. I should have just reached in there and grabbed him. You see him? Oh, he's so little. God. I don't think we're going to get this guy to eat. He hasn't swallowed it enough to actually reach the hook itself, so. He's not a very bright guy. Definitely a stocked fish. Okay. No way. He's on. He's on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this little guy, I'm telling you. I think he deserves. I don't know. Uh, you gonna keep him or? I feel like we're gonna catch a lot more fish. We gotta I feel decide like now. He needs to. For all that. He deserves to keep going. He put up a hell of a fight. Not really a fight, just like, uh, I don't know, a cat and mouse game, I guess you'd call it. Like nothing happened. What a weird fish, dude. So strange. I can't believe we caught him, though. He never ate, he never caught the hook. Not one time did we hook that fish. The last one, he was hooked. I don't barely. think so. Well, yeah, barely hooked, but he popped right off. Never thought I would dive in the water after a seven inch brook trout. After working so hard. He just meant so much at that point. 
That was a time investment and a half. Let's see if he'll come back. That was funny though. Well worth the entertainment. Is there another one? I don't know. We're gonna put this other one, this guy near the bottom as well. Oh, we got a flag. Which one? That's you. <laughs> All right, let's see what we get. Probably another tiny one that I can't hook. Oh yeah, I bet you it's the same fish. Yeah. <laughs> it's about the same size, but this one actually ate it. He's a feisty guy. I'm not going to keep this one. He's too small. Love it. That was a lot easier. I think I appreciated the other guy so much more than this one. <laughs> That never gets any easier. I need a sled and auger. All the fancy things. That make this so much easier. Hope this spot's good. We should be moving in. I think we have a ridge in behind us. This might be like 35 feet. Following parallel with the shore. So hopefully they're cruising this plane. And if not, I'll try deeper. And if that doesn't work, I'll go to the tip of a point right on a, a horseshoe to see if they're cruising that area pushing bait fish in. If that doesn't work, we'll just start guessing. Any marks? Yeah, um, there's a mark on bottom right now. He's not super aggressive though. Oh, well, I say that he's coming up a little bit. We'll see, I don't have too much. Oh, hey, that's a nice fish. Did you just catch that? Yeah. He must have choked the hell out of that guy. Yeah, oh, it's out his gill. Yeah, you're welcome to have that. I will eat that. It's a that. little bigger than I want. Are so. you kidding me? That's a perfect baker. Hand lining him is honestly almost more fun. No, jigging's way better. I disagree with that. Especially, I mean, jigging's better when you have this because it's so cool to watch him chase. There you go. That small one. As long as he's an eater. Oh, and he wants it. Oh, you got him? You're going to move the deucer. Three or four pounds. Oh, nice. I'll wait till you get his head up the hole. Ooh, watch that chunk. He's gonna run back down. Give him some. That's a good fish. Solid. Just if you can get his head up, you gotta watch this chunk. Watch that. Do you wanna eat him? I might. Depends on how big he turns out to be. I will eat that. That's a feeding size. Yeah. Two, three pounds. Just don't eat that. Oh, careful there. That's risky. It's risky business. Oh, look at the bubbles. <laughs> oh. I love how feisty they get at the hole. I can't. might take out that chunk. There's two chunks if you're going to do it. Yeah, you're going to lose it. One. Watch oh. line. Go. Go, 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 go. There we go. Yeah, that's an eating size. Oh, it's like that. Oh, it's actually not a bad size fish. Is it? Where's the skimmer? That's perfect. He's not too big. Oh, he's close, he's, he's, isn't he? I think he's short. What is this, 14? Ends at 15, so this the skimmer itself is 18 inches long. Oh, okay. He's legal. Yeah, he's legal. Yeah, I might, I might do this one. I'll keep him. One. I'll definitely keep him. Okay, so if you don't want him, 
I'll keep we'll them. We'll see at the end of the day. Beauty. I wouldn't, yeah. That's about the size I'd keep. Nice fish. You know, I put on this little rubber minnow tail. I don't know if that helped. Oh, you use a rubber minnow tail. That's it got just some good didn't action. Fall off. Yeah, that has the best action for lake trout. It's my favorite color. They like the chartreuse. Beauty. Maybe it's just because I'm a fly fisherman. I like flies. <laughs> yeah, it's fair. Feathers move. Hey, man. Oh. Well done. That's a perfect eater for a lake trout. You don't want them too big. Plus, these they live a long time, so you don't want to take big ones. A... Oh, shit. got a flag. Just pop. Deep one. Big one, too. This might be a lake trout again. Uh. Oh, she's spinning. Good call. Go ahead and check these all day. There we go. Oh, yeah. See, this is the way I like to catch lake trout. Ah, jigging? You just caught one jigging and you like this better? Much more finesse. There's no drag that does it for you. This is true. This is all on you now. I thought that was a fish for a second. Ooh, I don't know how big it is. It's not really doing anything. It won't until you get to the surface. He'll run. I got like a hundred feet of line. Easily. <laughs> oh, he just took it and went. Oh, here he comes. What do we got? Oh, it's an eater. What is it? I'll eat it. It looks just big enough. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. That's an eater. They're so slimy. Nice. Let's see. Make sure. Just legal. That's another perfect ear. He didn't fight too much though. No, I mean he already ones. he fought when he uh, was running. It got caught in his back gill. Oh no shit. So he was uh, he was he was just ripping. Tired himself out. Number two. This was like two minutes apart on a line that we didn't catch anything all day. They're starting to move up on the shore and they are hungry. We might have our limit here in a uh, few minutes. Oh. Oh, I'll just go bring them over by the brookies. Oh, perfect. And this hope an eagle doesn't see it. I will be very upset if an eagle grabs I'll put that. It. I'll put it underneath my basket. Okay. <laughs> hey, speaking of the eagle, look up. Right above you. Oh my gosh, you get away from my fish. Don't you dare. Boy, I think what I'm gonna do is just fill this bag with the fish and then bring it back with me. Otherwise, someone's gonna take them. <laughs> Did you order some uh, baguettes? <laughs> Any luck? I guess I'll show you guys what we ended up with. Hey, I mean, we caught quite a few fish. Some decent Lakers, a lot of fun little ones. So there's uh, the keepers we had today. We had several others we threw back. So it's a limit of brook trout. Surprisingly, we didn't get our limit of lake trout. Some good eater brookies. We didn't catch any monster brookies. If we had targeted them, we probably could have. And then a couple of perfect eater lake trout as far as keeping goes. These are 18 and a half and probably 19. You getting them to bite over there, Aaron? Really? No. All right, we're gonna go ahead and call it, pack up, leave, and then maybe I'll catch you guys later at my place. We're hopefully outside if it's a nice day to cook up those lake trout. I guess you can say bye to Aaron too. See ya. See ya. It's several days later and I'm finally getting back around to cooking this lake trout that we caught the other day. 
and I have a pretty cool recipe in store. So we're gonna do a orange saffron uh, sauce uh, with this fish. So uh, we're gonna add some greens to the bottom and I didn't think I was gonna be able to do this, but somehow I was able to find saffron in Maine. So saffron's really expensive spice, something that you wouldn't expect to find in a lot of Maine grocery stores. But thankfully we're traveling a little bit. We got lucky. So uh, we're gonna cook up this lake, lake trout today in an orange saffron sauce and I think it's gonna end up really good. Uh, but to start with, I'm gonna actually fillet this. Better than I expected. Looks pretty good, right? Yeah. It's not bad for a lake trout. There's no brook trout or salmon, but... So next, I think we're gonna make up the sauce, if I can find a couple pans. Okay, so this recipe is relatively simple. I mean, we're just gonna add some zest, a little bit of butter, shallots. The base of the dish is pretty much just all gonna be spinach. Top that off, I'm gonna put a little bit of chives. The sauce is gonna be made with some white wine orange juice and then a mixture of the shallots and some butter. And then of course the most important thing is saffron. And to start with, I'm just going to boil up the sauce. I'm gonna bring it to a boil for five minutes, put that in a blender, blend it all together, and then keep it on low while I start cooking my fish. So our sauce is just gonna be made up of half a cup of orange juice. And then half a cup of wine. In addition to that, we're gonna add a decent pinch of saffron. I'm just gonna mince those a little bit in my hand. gonna put that on the heat and let that go until it comes to a boil. Let it sit for about five minutes and then I'm gonna blend it. Yeah, I completely forgot about the butter. We're gonna add two tablespoons of butter too. <laughs> there we go. Okay, we got that cooking up. It should be done pretty much in no time. We're just gonna let it boil for a little bit and then I'm gonna get to cooking the fish and the greens as well. And then maybe Marin is gonna help. Yes. Are you excited? Yes, I am. You're very excited. Mm -hmm. So this, this dish isn't normally made with lake trout, but that's kind of what I had. I'm going fishing tomorrow, so I want to clear out the freezer. Uh, so we're going to make this dish, see how it turns out. And I, I think it'll be pretty good. I mean, it really can't be that bad. Uh, they're definitely a little oily, but uh, I don't think that's going to be really much of a problem. Okay, so we got the sauce done. Uh, next up is pretty simple. We're just gonna take some butter. Okay, and to that we're just gonna add in a bunch of spinach. Heat that up some, and then we're gonna cover it and then let it steam. So, and then also to that, we're gonna add some of that lemon or uh, orange zest that I just cut up. Just for some added flavor. We're gonna to start to cook up the fish. Everything else is gonna cook relatively quickly, so we're gonna get the fish going. 
Uh, with that, we're just going to add some butter to the pan, and I'm going to salt them lightly, and then pretty much all of our flavors are within those. Okay, so once our pan heats up, I'm just going to cook the fish relatively quick. So these are pretty, this was a pretty small lake trout, so these are really thin cuts. So I'm basically going to put it skin down, and I'm going to try to sear it on high, and I'm going to quickly turn it down and just continue uh, cooking it on that side uh, until it's completely done, and then flip it once right at the end real quick. So I forgot to mention, so I just basically seared the underside so that way the skin's going to crisp up a little bit. But I added some extra butter and what I'm going to do basically to cook the other side is I'm just going to spoon that hot butter over top of the fish. Uh, so we're going to do this for about 90 seconds or maybe a little bit longer. Depends on the thickness of your fish really. So our greens pretty much done. I am going to add just the sauce as a base. And then we have our greens, and we're going to put the greens right over top. Sprinkle that with a bit of salt. super fancy on this one. I feel like this is almost all out. I haven't gone really this far before. <laughs> but I got flowers to garnish it just to add to the color because it really is such a beautiful dish that I thought why not add a little extra to it. It smells so good. It looks so good. Such a beautiful presentation to this dish. And it's so simple. It really is a simple dish to make. I mean, it doesn't take long at all. Uh, there's just a couple ingredients in it and it's a matter of timing, more or less. Uh, but the presentation of it really just comes out so beautiful. Really excited to try it. So I'm gonna let Marin try it first. See what she thinks. What do you think? That's really good. Is it? Mm-hmm. Is it like something you've had before? or? No, I've never had anything like this. Kind of like a summer dish, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I obviously would eat it in winter, too. <laughs> yeah, it is winter outside. Okay. Now let's see if I like it. The moment of truth. Yeah. Whoa. That's really good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think this is the best fish that I've made on this channel. It, I don't know, it might be close to that mackerel dish I did. The flavor is some, comes across super strong, especially with that saffron. Uh, but really, it's quite, quite good. Mm. Definitely a summer dish, but I think it's a great meal. What do you think? I think it's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Definitely a more cooking intensive video taking a lake trout that we got out ice fishing and then bringing it in and making this beautiful dish out of it. Uh, and to me, that's what it's all about. I really enjoy taking something from the wild and creating something beautiful and delicious with it. And I think we really accomplished that this time around. But probably something that I'm gonna make again in the future. Uh, so anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you wanna follow along for more, I am ice fishing tomorrow. Maybe I'll do an intricate dish with that. Uh, but you can always subscribe and hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. So anyway guys, I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching